Hi. Um, I just kind of wanted to talk for a couple minutes um, about some stuff I've been thinking about recently. I don't know what happened exactly, but recently my Tumblr kind of, you know, fucking exploded. And... Sorry, hold on. <clears throat> and, um... I started getting all these messages saying these really, really kind and wonderful things, you know, complimenting me on my appearance and all this great stuff. And then on occasion, I started to get these messages saying that, oh, wow, you get all these positive messages, you know, you, go, you get all these really, really complimentary stuff. You must be really confident now. And no, that's not how it works. I really wish it was, but that's not how it works. And I, I kind of want to take a sec to explain that because I think, I think it's really important. Um, I mean, let's not even address the fact that being called attractive on the internet is kind of like being a superhero, but like a really shitty one, you know? Matt Diaz is mild-mannered by day, but by night, strangers on Tumblr think he's kind of cute sometimes. You know, it's, it just doesn't work. And even beyond that, it's just that, like, if you know my story, body image is not something that just goes away when you start getting attention. I wish it was that simple, but people aren't blank slates that once they start getting positive feedback, all the negative shit goes away. You know, I was, I was overweight for all of my young life and I was I was fucking obese for a good amount of my teenage years and like even when I started losing weight I didn't become quote unquote thin until I was like 19 or 20. <clears throat> I was 497 pounds when I was 16 years old. I lost 270 pounds and no matter how much attractive, how much attractive, look at me, <laughs> no matter how much attention I get or no matter, like, no matter how many things nice people say to me, it never really goes away. It stays with you. And it's, it's, not that I'm, it's not that I'm saying that I have no chance at being confident. I'm working toward that. But what I'm saying is it takes a lot more than, like, people just saying nice things to really, really get you there. And I think that's a really important distinction to make. Because I think people think, oh, wow, once he starts getting attention, he's going to become really, really confident. And, you know, then everything from his young life will just disappear and he'll be good. I wish that was how it worked, but it really isn't. You know, the truth is, I mean, it kind of it kind of sucks to talk about. But, you know, I, I really I really like where I'm getting personally. You know, I think my, my sense of style and my, my haircut, my tattoos and my piercings are really the things that I've wanted for a long time. Especially when I was really young, you know, they were the kind of, I feel like I'm finally be, starting to become the person who I wanted to be when I was young and overweight and very unattractive. Um, but I never don't see that. And I think that's really important to realize. Like, every time I look in the mirror, no matter how much weight I lose, no matter how attractive I get, I always see that guy. He's always there with me. I always see the, the, the fucking man boobs and the, the huge neck with no chin and the, the saggy arms and the terrible, terrible taste in clothes and the fucking jean shorts. I, I, that guy is always there with me because that was such a big part of my life. And I'm not, I'm not saying it in the way that like people with body dysmorphia issues say, we're like, they're like, oh, I never see myself as thin. I see how I look now, but I, I'm never able to lose, like, the anchor of that person I was. And there are times when I feel really good about myself, and then I'll look in the mirror, and it's just like, oh, yeah, you used to be a fat shit, and you still kind of feel that way. And I'll be having a conversation with a girl at a bar, or I'll be, I'll be talking to somebody, and they'll call me attractive, or they'll comment how much weight I've lost, and a big part of me will just think, oh... I'm, I, I feel like a fraud. I don't know why. I feel like I'm not the guy they're saying that I am because I knew I know where I came from. I'm trying really hard to to change that, but it just it's just it's it's hard and it's difficult. And body image isn't really that simple or that like it's not that disposable. I just wanted to say that. I don't know why. Um, I'll probably talk about this more. And if you have any questions, you can put them in my ask box. Myannoyances.tumblr.com slash ask. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is really it was really. It's difficult for me to talk about, but I just kind of want to say that. All right, bye.